Hello, this is my walk away video. Uh, this is about what led me to walk away from our current system of um, government. I'm not really sure um, what got me to walk away from the left. Okay, a little introduction of myself. Many of you have seen my, uh, in my first walk away story on a walk away Facebook page. Um, and lately I've been getting a lot of likes and a lot of hearts and all that sort of stuff on, on it, which has been really nice. But uh, it also led me uh, to make this video. Um, and for others who don't know who I am, hi. <laughs> okay, a little bit about myself. I am, I'll just cut straight to the chase because you're obviously looking and you're wondering what the heck. Um, I am a practitioner of androgyny. That is, I am someone who doesn't really follow gender norms when it comes to outward presentation, uh, behavior, and that sort of thing. Um, a lot of people mistaken me as trans, and I'm not. And I think it's raw, it would be wrong for me to take that term for what I am. I am male identified, uh, sorry I've got stuff on my lap. I am male identified, I am um, also into women, and I uh, just have a very feminine presentation. Uh, this is mostly because I like it, always have, I've always wondered why guys can't have more expression when it comes to their style, what they can wear, why girls wear lower pants and guys can wear skirts and girls can have short hair and guys can have long hair, that sort of thing. Okay, rather unimportant things when you get down to it. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. Oh, um, actually, let's go on. I have been, uh, had my feet in both, uh, in two areas of life. I am into aviation. I am in aviation. I'm a mechanic and I'm a pilot. Um, so that's a very conservative and very, um, it's a very conservative environment. Um, a lot of people have assumptions about someone like myself being at the controls of an airplane because of my outward appearance, and that's ridiculous to me. I've never understood why that is the case. Um, but, and I have not, actually when my girlfriend and I went to Las Vegas, I did have makeup on. Um, but anyways, that's beside the point. But my other foot was always into art, into uh, artful expression, music, and things like that. Um, so I have sort of run the edge between conservative and liberal areas of life. Um, so let's go into what led me to walk away. Um, my girlfriend was going to a college, uh, going to college. And she started noticing um, pretty scary things happening on the campus. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. Um, it started happening around the same time as, say, uh, the rise of Black Lives Matter. Now, I've always had a problem with Black Lives Matter. This is not because I'm racist, and that is something else that the left does. That annoys the hell out of me. Um, I have a problem with Black Lives Matter because I have a problem with their name. Because Asian Lives Matter, Mexican Lives Matter, Filipino Lives Matter, Spanish Lives Matter, Eskimo Lives Matter, all of those lives, when they're innocent, matter. And that, I think, is what is missing. Innocent Lives Matter. Because I don't go with the all lives matter because not all lives matter. Does the life of a fly matter to you? Does the life of a, uh, a micro microbe that you just stood on matter to you? No. So it's like, not all lives matter. Innocent lives matter. Now, innocent is up for debate, what innocent is and what innocent isn't. Um, but also rising with the left, really, was sort of this condemnation of Christianity I mean, just outright condemnation of it. And I'm not a fan of Christianity myself because just because of the black mark that a lot of uh, uh, 
a lot of people in Christianity have uh, done. I was growing up during the uh, satanic panic, shall we say. I was told that playing Dungeons and Dragons would lead to me going to hell. I was told listening to Ozzy Osbourne, uh, who is a Christian by the way, um, would lead you to hell and all of this sort of stuff. I recall seeing the bonfires of, of record albums being burned, you know. Um, I recall that and gives you an idea of how old I am. Um, so yeah, there was that. So I was shocked when the left really started embracing another faith that shall go unnamed. Uh, that is so much more anti-woman, uh, anti-female, um, anti-gay. You know, I mean, when you're throwing people off buildings because they're gay, that's, uh, that's not a good faith. And once again, it's the practitioners of the faith, but also I have read, read the scripture of, uh, I read some scripture of that faith, and um, it was, it's scary. Um, then, what really started driving it home was Bernie Sanders' uh, Portland speech. My girlfriend and I found Bernie Sanders to be a breath of fresh air when it came to politics. This is because he spoke of things that were really true to us. I am definitely in the camp of people who think that you should, if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be living anywhere near poverty. And yet that is the reality of our world right now. And the way the economy has been set up, we are becoming a service industry. And so the jobs that are here are going to be lower paid, lower skilled jobs, usually dealing with serving people. Now I do not think people who have to take those jobs should be living in poverty or anywhere near it. I think that is wrong. And uh, I don't think they should be paid huge wages either. But look, I'm an aircraft mechanic. I work on airplanes. My quality of life isn't all that terrific. I only recently was able to purchase a new car because my old car, a 69 VW, was getting the crap beaten out of it by these roads and when it finally sprung a leak in the gas tank it was time for the car to be relegated to other duties. No, I did not scrap it. I still have it. I'd be a fool to sell it. Um, but, so I'm having to make car payments and that sort of thing and it hurts. It does hurt. But being an aircraft mechanic, that's a skill. That's a high skill. So is flying an airplane. Do you know how much a pilot, beginning pilot makes? Flying airplanes? I'm not talking about airliners. I'm talking about single engine light airplanes. They make $10 an hour independent contractor. Or at least that's what they were making when I, when I was flying traffic watch. Um, there are some mechanics out there making $20 an hour independent contractor. Now when I throw an independent contractor, I think many people will hopefully know what that means. It means they have to pay taxes every quarter. or uh, And uh, they end up losing a lot of income. Okay. So, at Bernie's speech, when Black Lives Matter came up and interrupted his speech, and the way he really didn't do anything, um, sent a message to me. This was not a man who would fight. This is not a man who would fight for my rights or fight for the rights of other people. Um, I kind of turned away from Bernie. Uh, though, I was hoping he would make it to the presidential campaign. But of course, you know what happened to Bernie. Uh, the DNC uh, utterly cheated. And again, that was a walk away moment. I was really never a Democrat. I was, I've always been, once again, I, I, my life is always running the, running the edge. My presentation is running the edge. My, uh, my political beliefs are running the edge. By running the edge, I mean in between conservative and liberal. Um, okay, so yeah, there was what happened with Bernie, what happened with the DNC, how he got completely away with it. And then my girlfriend and I started paying attention to Donald Trump. At first we were laughing. 
we could not believe this man had made it into being, uh, even coming close to running for president. We thought it was a joke. Then we started listening to him. Then we started watching his speeches. And once we got over the bravado that is Donald Trump, he started growing on us. And because of this, I was able to really use my diagnostic mind. I have one of those. And I was able to pay attention to what he was saying. Then I saw what the media was doing, the lies that the media was putting out. First of all, there was that Billy Bush thing. To this day, I am still correcting people and telling them, no, that is not what Mr. Trump said in that interview. First of all, what was said in that interview were, two, were like what two adolescent kids would be saying. It was one-upmanship, and it was dumb. I agree it was dumb. At the time, Mr. Trump was not even running for president. He was, uh, I think he was doing the whole um, apprentice thing. It was Access Hollywood or something like that. They, they wouldn't be interviewing a future presidential candidate. I don't know if that is the case. Uh, but what he said was no different than what a rock star or a football player or any other person in a high level of society would say. And what Donald Trump said is that when you have money, when you have celebrity, women, some women, will let you do whatever you want. And that's not a lie. I've seen it personally. I've seen f female friends of mine do some really ridiculous things just for the attention of a guy. Okay? It's pathetic. It's, it's, it's dangerous. Um, but it's also what happens. It's how things go. So the media lies push me further away. Um, the thing about uh, the Mexicans coming across the border. What Donald Trump technically said is true. The people crossing the border illegally are criminals. They're not murderers, not all of them. They're not horrible people, but they are criminals because of the mere act that they crossed the border. Um, it's a misdemeanor, I understand that, but it's still a crime. And, sorry, my nose itches. Um, when a person does a crime, they're a criminal. The way the media spun it as if Donald Trump was a racist towards Mexicans and didn't like Mexicans and all of that sort of thing, that really drove it home, too, that I wanted nothing to do with the left. Uh, another thing that's happening with the left is uh, this denial of biology. I have been seeing uh, in the last couple of years this move to essentially do away with biological sex and go with this notion that um, a, a, a trans people have always been a certain sex. And I disagree with this. I disagree with it vehemently. Um, but I also disagree with the social pressures on people to align with one gender or another. Uh, or what's in between. My gender, as I said, is male. I identify as male, and uh, I live as a male. My presentation is androgynous because I like androgyny, I like the blend of male and female. I'm not one of these people that find shame in the feminine. I think guys should be able to express themselves more femininely if they damn well please. And I also don't think that's, uh, that workplaces should have gender-specific dress codes, but instead of dress codes that say, you can dress however you want as long as you fit within the, dress, within the length and decency requirements of our dress code. That's it. Um, now, this latest incident with Kavanaugh, this is sort of what prompted me to make this video. I have been hearing people who really should use their brains say stuff that is tantamount to guilty until proven innocent. This, this 
this does not hold water with me. This is frightening to hear. When I hear people say, you must believe the victim no matter what, my alarm bells go off. It's like, no, why should I believe the victim no matter what? What if the victim's lying? What if the victim isn't a victim? See, that's the old, another thing that the left does, is they're calling me, like, uh, they're calling um, Dr. Ford a victim. No, Dr. Ford is an accuser. She is accusing that she is the victim of a crime perpetrated by Mr. Kavanaugh when he was 17 years old. Yet another thing that the left does. I have heard of people being murdered by minors so that that minor can join a gang. It's known as gang initiation. I'm sure people have heard of it. Um... This per, uh, sorry, my mind goes too fast sometimes. Um, these same liberals, or these liberals, will push for that kid who has murdered somebody just so that they can join a gang. Have, will push for that child to be tried as a child, not as an adult. And yet here, we have Kavanaugh, 53 years later, 53 years later, after the so-called incident, the incident that still is up in the air whether it happened or not, being tried for something he did when he was 17 years old, e.g. a minor. I have had seen people say that he's not fit to be a, to be a judge because of his outburst in front of Congress, or the, the Senate Judiciary Committee. Of course he had outbursts. For crying out loud, these people are destroying his life. He has been a public servant for many, many, many years. He's been through six FBI investiga uh, uh, background checks because he was increasing his level in the judi judiciary. All during this time, Mrs. Ford, or Miss Ford could have said, sorry, not Miss Ford, Dr. Ford, could have said that Mr. Kavanaugh had been doing these things to him. But she didn't. She remained silent six times, at least. And now, the liberals want Kavanaugh to be tried for something he did when he was a minor. Well, not tried. That's the other thing. Liberals are telling me this is in the court of law, so guilty till proven innocent applies. No, it doesn't. One of our cornerstones of this country is innocent until proven guilty, and that counts for private life. That counts for outside of the court. As far as I'm concerned, I hope it count is the same for you. And yet, here are people condemning him, ruining his life, ruining all that he has done for his life, for something to happen when he was 17. This would be the same as me being denied a flying job because in my past, I accidentally pushed a biplane into a hangar when I was in middle school. I know it's not quite the same as sexual molestation, but it's still connected. Aviation job denying me a job because of something I did in middle school. Kind of BS, wouldn't you say? But that's what's happening with Mr. Kavanaugh. And I don't like it. I don't like what I'm hearing. I don't like the rhetoric. And it's making me go even further from the left. Now, what's really funny is, if you look at myself, you would think I am a raging liberal. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to be. I don't want to be any one thing. I, I believe in flexibility. I believe in people using their brains and actually examining things. Something that the left doesn't like. Such as in the Human Rights Campaign. They posted yet another article stating how many trans people have been killed this year. 
but they're failing to leave in or failing to say that a lot of these trans people were killed while in the act of prostitution or while in the act of fooling somebody about their gender or their sex. Now I get jumped down, I get people jumping down my throat because I dare suggest that these things are a factor. They are a factor because there are men who will kill somebody if they find out that that somebody is not what they think that somebody is because that's how some guys are it's horrible it's terrible it shouldn't be but that is how it is well I got jumped down seriously at HRC I'm on their page because I like to monitor what they're saying what nonsense they're putting out and they do put out some bad nonsense consistently I see stuff uh, uh, lies about Trump so that's my walk away video um, I've gone through all my topics I hope you were able to watch it all the way to the end um, but yeah that's my walk away story and I hope it was inspirational I guess um, I hope it gives a little bit more backing to the people just thinking about thinking things for themselves and doing things for, uh, um, doing the right things without groupthink um, I have actually never really been part of groupthink I've, just, I've always been the uh, oddball out shall we say both in appearance and the way my mind works um, so there we go I hope you enjoyed it and more power to the move away movement I hope someday we have a legitimate third party or really not really even a party just a rogue candidate oh wait we did his name was Donald Trump <laughs> although he ran as, as a Republican I don't see him as a Republican. I don't see him as ultra-conservative. I hear people say he's anti-gay. I have yet to see him do anything uh, uh, outwardly uh, against gays. Um, I see people bringing up DeVos and her anti-trans thing, but if you look deeper, it's, it's, it's not anti-trans. It's sort of common sense. Okay, that's my video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.